Hey, Moda. Renegade. Hey, Moda. Renegade. 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 Go on with the sheets, bro. Yo, hit him with the Renegade. I just start the timer. Alright, All right, go ahead. Oh, jeez. Alright. Welcome to the second edition of CIS Speaks, sponsored by Darter Plastics and Clear Lake Lions. I am Jack Jones, your host, and uh, today we are here with uh, Mr. Toe, Tristan Emholtz, and uh, Dylan Winter. Way to say, like, super slow. <laughs> like, we can just, like, I'm, I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> you know? Like, what do you want me to do? I'm just like Dylan yeah. Winter. Just Dylan Winter? Dylan Winter. You gotta make it dramatic, Dylan man. It's a podcast. <laughs> All right, Jack, lead us off into some conversation. All right. Dude, I actually have no idea. How did you get on the team? Uh, so, like, my buddies Blake and Adam were on the team the year before. Yeah. And I just never thought I had time for it. So I just didn't join. And then the next year, I was highly thinking about it again. And I was in FTC beforehand, and then I quit that for a bit. And then... Since my buddies were in FRC, I was like, might join. And then Ben Fishbach, I had a class with him, and then we just started like hitting it off, and he's like, you should come join. So came to an LGN. Went, uh, I had to operate at a off-season event because the operator was gone at a training event. So that was like probably my first real experience. And then... Yeah, now we're here. Honestly, yeah. um, me and yours is pretty similar. Like, uh, same thing. I had I had a class with uh, with Adam. I had welding too with like Adam and Blake. And I, I think you were in there too, weren't you? Were you in welding too? Probably. Yeah, it was uh, right after football, and you know I was kind of <laughs> doing nothing, looking for something to do. And uh, I mean, Yurik had been trying to get me to join robotics since like freshman year, and I just you know I never never was into it. Yeah. And. Uh, mm -hmm. Finally, they convinced me, you know, hey, come to a meeting. The first meeting I show up to, <laughs> we all start Some grabbing ritual. hands, stand up, and start singing Country Roads. So I'm just like, what is going on? What is this team? Weird ritual that's happening. I have no idea what was going on. Yeah, we don't just, do that anymore. We don't do that anymore. We should start that back no, up again. No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I would not do that. <laughs> no, I, I don't, I don't, I'm, uh, I, I experienced that once, and it was, yeah, a little it was scary. weird. Yeah, you're kind of, you're Blake, like, it. that's what it. Yeah. I mean, it looks like there's just someone getting sacrificed. It's just weird. <laughs> See, I showed up and had no idea what I was doing. I think everyone everyone does at their start, like... Yeah, no one... What's a Robo Rio? Yeah, what, Rio? yeah what's yeah. a Robo Rio? Like, what do you, you, how do you think I felt? I show, I showed up at kickoff. Yeah, yeah tell, tell us your story. Tell us your story okay. about how you joined. So, Yurik and Maine kept trying to get me to join Robotics for... Oh, since freshman year when I was in Maine's class, and I was with a whole bunch of buddies, and... We messed around, but Maine's like, no, you should really join the team. So I was like, all right, thinking about it. Freshman year, I didn't. I was going to sophomore year, but then I was like, mm, not really feeling it. Kind of like full football vibes. Then junior year, I was like, ah, oh, I'm tempted, kind of. A whole bunch of my buddies joined, and so, I mean, you guys were in there. And then all of a sudden, one of my friends, Trenton, called me, and he's like, get your butt in here. Didn't even know. Like, didn't even know what was happening on that day. It was like 8 o'clock. The yeah. kickoff video was going on. And we were up in the, in the, you guys are the booth. in the booth at the PAC in our school. Yeah. And Toll shows up as the video is playing. I had no, I, I absolutely had no clue. I walked up the year and of course there's Jordan, and Alyssa, and a whole bunch of our chairman's presenters were there. They're just chilling. And I walked up, I was like, can I join robotics? And all of them looked at me like, who are you and why are you here and why? Like, why do you want to join this? Like, cause the gear comes out here. But inside there, let's go. Close the door behind me, and so that was basically the start of my adventure in 4607, which has I mean, evolved, but it's just been it's been weird. Dude, you know, all, all of us have come so far, like in this program since we started. Like, I mean, me and you, it's only been like one year, but I mean, it's, yeah, one year. But if you look at it, I mean, Dylan's media lead, weird strategy lead, I'm outreach captain and business lead. I mean, yeah, going from. I had no clue what I was doing that first you year. I you was weren't on, even in business the first year. No, I was You're, on build team. I was doing random stuff. Like, I mean, we built the bumper mounts and stand for safety precautions. Those bumper mounts were not made to safety standards. <laughs> well, but, last year, all I was was pretty much. I, no, not even that. Just me following Ben Fishbach around. 
and doing whatever he told me to do, which it got me, Ben was a great leader, got me great experience, showed me everything on the team, every part of the team, because he was pretty involved, mm -hmm. and now, never would I thought I'd be immediately, but here I am. Yeah. You know, I didn't even, I didn't even start doing strategy until the off season after my first year, like, literally, the, like, the first time I was involved in strategy, Eric walks up to me and is like, hey, you're doing alliance selection uh, at uh, MRI. Hey, that's because I wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, okay, that's because Toe wasn't there. He was originally going to do that, but he's like, yeah, you're, you're going to just go up and uh, go up in front of everyone, and, uh, you know, if we're uh, if we're captains, you're going to pick. And if you're not, you're just going to say yes. At this point, I have, yes. like, no idea. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was so nervous. <laughs> and so I go out there. I'm waiting for, like, 20 minutes just, like, sweating, sweating through my shirt a little bit. Sweating. Sweating, sweating through my shirt. I messed up our first time, so... Hey, what did you say? I stuttered. I was like, uh, can we get team, uh, 18... 16. 18, 16. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was not hey, good. At it, least, was, it was funny, though. At least you weren't the girl that chose us during that competition. So, we kind of had a little Just bit like of idea. That. We had a little bit of idea we were going to get picked. And, uh, basically, I'm sitting there. He gives the microphone to the girl, and she's... We'd like to select team CSI 4607. And then immediately I looked over to our section and everyone's just like cringing a little bit because she got our name wrong. Yeah, that happens all the time. And though. like I walk up there and you know, except, and she like, she realizes she messed up. She felt so bad. <laughs> like she just, she apologized. CIS. CIS, yeah. Yep. So she starts apologizing and everything. And then uh, we pick our third team member, Databits, and this dude comes over. I, I'd seen him a few times before that at uh, competitions, just always dancing and like going, going just crazy. Hit yeah, hit him, hit him with the, the, the dance moves. He walks over, dude. Thanks for picking us, man. Like reaches into his pocket, whips out two things. Uh, uh, I think it was M and M's, and just gives them to us. I'm like, yo, <laughs> might have to do this more often. What, was, what competition? Was it MMR? I think it was MMR. It was MMR, not MMR. No, no. There was one competition where I was... No, it was Alliance Captain, so I was MMR. I was going, and all of a sudden, this dude next to me whips out a banana and hands it to the person. Like, well, Jack chooses people for candy, so... That's, I mean, that's right. <laughs> I mean, it's like when we went to IRI this year, and this dude's an Alliance Captain. Somehow fits three or four corn cobs in his pocket. That's what it was. Whips them out. Every time he chooses someone. That was... Oh. Dude, do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, you remember that? <laughs> I thought it was a banana, but no, it was, no, it was corn, corn cobs. <laughs> Full buttered up corn cobs. I'm just like... And then you'd have to eat it. Yeah, and I'll just take pocket. a huge bite. What <laughs> team one, was that? I, I don't know. The one girl said there, she's like, Thank you for choosing us. Not eating it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was a one dude that just took a huge bite out of it. And he was eating it while he was talking and he was like, yeah, we would like to select team uh, so 2027. 20, <laughs> it was that's that's genius right there. It was it was fantastic. I want to do something like that at our that's at our so regional. Though, but please, if it if you no, do we gotta do like M and M's though. Like, but open up the pack of M and M's. Just give him one, and then you eat the rest of the bag. <laughs> oh boy. Somehow. I mean, are we gonna do gallon chocolate milk? Gallon. Dude, can I just have like a trench coat with gallons of chocolate milk <laughs> inside and just chocolate milk? Hey yo, yes. <laughs> please do that. Dude, was... chocolate milk or I mean, or camps, camps. I mean, what do you prefer, Dill? What do you prefer? We'll go over that what? in a different time, but like, oh come what, on, what, what come kind, on. What kind of chocolate milk would you give someone? Though? I think you'd have to go for like the small, like fair lives, because you know, I mean, the true moon ones. Hold they up, don't look, oh, they don't look that's a good. controversy right there. Some people won't even drink that stuff. Yeah. You're okay, right, but you're like right. low key though, do you get like the bottle ones or do you get like the little milk jug ones? Or do you cheap? just give them like just a gallon or two? No, because that's expensive, dude. I mean, you gotta look at and you gotta look at it because if Jack has a trench coat on and walks out, <laughs> that might not look good. Do they make cans of chocolate milk? Walks out there and all of a sudden. Three gallons of chocolate milk are just sitting in Jack's thing. <laughs> Do they make kegs of chocolate milk? I mean, that's something we'd have to that's look not up, but... Pull it up, Jamie. Let's go. No. <laughs> no? Pull okay, let's not pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, give us a, another little All right, all right. So, Jack. I feel like when we first joined, like, 
they gave us a little menial task because like they didn't really know what we were whack. capable of. Like I had no idea what I didn't know the difference between an Allen wrench and like a crescent wrench. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. And I was on build. I, <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing, but like it was like week three into build season, and here it comes over to me, Avery, and Toe, and he's just like. Yo, you guys want to you guys want to build like a a little stand stationary robot? And we're like, "Oh, sure. What's this for?" Oh, it's like a little extra thing at the event. Junkyard robot, right? Junkyard, junkyard, yeah, robot. junkyard robot. Mr. Randy. At uh at Duluth the Duluth, Duluth Regional. So, you know, uh and for the people that are listening to the podcast here, it a junkyard robot is not a robot at all actually. No. It's just a little a sculpture. sculpture thing that kind of describes your team. So we got some like cowboy boots on it, some pink and, and because like you know, silver, you know, pretty redneck. Yeah, and we got then a Mountain Dew bandolier, which is uh pretty dope. That's a staple. This year we might have to do a chocolate milk, chocolate Some more chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. Chocolate milk all the way, man. I mean, uh, and then that mask wasn't even on it when we did it. It was. Uh, no, it's your face, and we had a cowboy hat on it. <laughs> It was, yeah, it's there our coach, go. coach here at Space, Mr. and it had a cowboy, cowboy hat on it. We just brought it up to him once we finished it, and he's just, what is this monster? What is this creation? Oh, we were, and we were so thing. proud. Yeah, another thing, um, the boots are completely filled with bolts, so it's heavy. Yeah, we, and that's the only <laughs> way how it stands. <laughs> so that's, yeah, and we just took the bolt bin that we had, just dumped it in there. We did take third for this, though. We did, yeah. Our yeah. efforts got us got us an award, and that's all that matters. Like, should I? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Just, yeah. I have nothing to put it on, but. That's, it's all good. Just, yeah. it's all right. Just put it's it right good. here. Yeah. But, <laughs> what what were you thinking, like, when we were building it? I mean, all of our thoughts, like, through that, like, we were sitting there building it, and we just figured, you know, like, I, like, just grab random pieces of metal and throw it together. I don't know what, how it came to creation, like, I went home and grabbed my cowboy boots, and we did this, and plus, I mean, we had stuff in the shop, like the stainless steel we had, Yurik yelled at us for it. Stainless steel? Yeah, Yurik yelled at us for using it. Was it, was it? No, it's stainless steel. He yelled at us a little bit for it. All right. Um, Mountain Dew bandoliers, we had a few kids chug some Mountain Dew. I mean, health kind of declined at that moment, but it's all good. Yeah, that was probably not the best build day, honestly. That's one thing about our team is we drink, everyone on the team drinks way too much Mountain Dew, especially during like the start of the season and like kickoff. Yeah. Like we went through a full like two, two twenty four cases, so like. No, that's that's terrible. And a twelve case, so at least fifty Mountain Dews were drank that hey, day. We're getting healthy. We're getting. Well, we're getting. Yeah, we're, 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 we're getting. We're there. switching over to chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate and milk. Caffeine milk. pills. <laughs> no, don't do not. Uh, I don't think I don't think that's it. I don't. I don't think uh, that's what we want to be homie. associated with. No. But, Oh, okay. Okay, then just, just chocolate milk. Just chocolate just, milk. Just supplemental and snips then, of this blue nitro. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so yeah. chocolate milk makes the bones strong, right? <coughs> yep. That's what my grandma says. Hey, that's so. the best after-workout drink, chocolate milk. Is it? It's one of them. Pro Pro workout? Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't make fun of them here. Come on. Enough last season. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, we're gonna get made fun of last season. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was all fun and games. It was all fun and games. It, was games. it, it wasn't hazing or bullying, but it was pretty close. It was no, 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 no. Beanbag. Hey, beanbag. It worked. I was in welding, and what Ben Fishbach, as he mentioned before, looks at me, and I'm sitting there and I'm looking at him. I was like, this kid's looking pretty whack. Like, I don't know what this kid's looking <laughs> ben at. Ben Fishbach, before. little, ben, little ben dude. Ben Fishbach, this dude's a stick, and he looks at me and he goes. <laughs> What are you looking at, beanbag? And <laughs> it just stuck, and I'm fine with it. Like it's a cool, like it's a funny name. Like I mean, robotics names, I and mean, it's chill. And then no sudden, rolls towards Ben, by the way. No, Ben's cool. I Ben's mean, cool. I, I had another nickname, but we <laughs> we'll, we'll skip over that for now. Uh, yeah, Jack's name does not get mentioned. It, it doesn't get mentioned. It doesn't matter. But you know that after that, after the first one, they started calling me the bear sometimes, and that was <laughs> La Carpeta. La Carpeta too. That one. Mm, I don't understand, but you know it works. <laughs> yes, la capita. It's not. It doesn't mean folder or notebook. I don't know which one of those two is. I thought it was Spanish. Perfect. La carpeta is be. folder in or folder or notebook in Spanish, but we. Yo, didn't. Adam, what's la carpeta? It was folder. Okay, so it's folder. <laughs> but it's it's. They didn't know how to say, they know how to say carpet in Spanish. So they just said la carpeta. La alfombra. 
Oh, phone broke. You no, know that's, that's not as cool. That's not. That's not as cool. That's not as cool. We're, we're gonna, you're gonna stay locked, people. Okay. Then. You know it's what? That's fine. <laughs> Dude, but were, yeah. were you like, were you uncomfortable when you first joined the team? Like, it was. I well, felt. I felt okay. kind of like weird. Okay, it was a little awkward at first. Um, realizing like, okay, all these weird people, because like, is weird I'm, people. Weird. Yeah. No, 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 um, no, no, no. You're listen, one of those listen, weird listen, people listen, now. Listen, I know I am. Okay. But like looking at it at first, I was like, okay, like there's a whole bunch of seniors in here that I don't know, and so I was like, okay, weird it out kind of thing. But like it's the same as football. Every year there's freshmen and sophomores that come up that you don't know, and then you become friends with them. And that's the same thing with robotics that happened. And then, like I said, weird people. I turned into one of those weird people. I'm one of the robo nerds now, as people say, but it's it's not nerdy at all. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, our team is. Very little nerdy, like... Our team is super athletic, if you look at it. Yeah, we have a lot of people in sports and stuff. Like, me and Jack are in football, you snowboard. I'm in lacrosse, too. Adam back there, which he mentioned before, is he's in football. Um, I mean, most of the people in our build season now are in sports or, like, Alyssa, our chair. Alyssa does everything, though. She does everything. She does absolutely everything. She's in basketball right now. Wish we could have you on the podcast, Alyssa, but... Rest in peace, Alyssa. Rest in peace. Oh boy. No, not rest in peace. <laughs> she's not dead. Don't. She's not. She's not dead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Knock on wood. This is metal, Jeff. You know what? It works. Adam, can we get a piece of wood up here? Yeah. No. No, it's, then, fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, We're she's good. probably like basketball, doing basketball or something. But yeah, that's whatever. <laughs> we got the wood. We got. Okay. Oh. Okay. Knock on. We can pass around. Oh. oh. Got a little little stuff on it. All right, all right, that's Passers. good. Uh, Adam, take Adam. Can you Adam, please take the wood back? <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. So, not rest in peace, Alyssa. She's alive. I'm sorry, I, it's not. Yes, not rest in peace, Alyssa. But uh, I'm sad she couldn't be here. That's what I was trying to get at. Okay, okay. What are what are some uh, weird inside jokes that we've had this past year? We keep we doing a lot. If we keep doing what we're doing, we'll, we'll see, see a lot, lot more of this. this. So this inside joke. It's not really like inside, because everyone says it, but like it's funny though. Some teams just kind of don't understand it because we say it all the time, and we keep doing what we're doing. We'll see a lot more of this, even if we're losing. We say that. Even if we're eating pork chops. The pork yep. chops, yep. So and we're in a hotel room, and we we're we're at was it IRI or was it IRI? We're at IRI, and this kid just out of nowhere. He's eaten like ribs that his parents had brought from a restaurant and just says, yeah, I don't Texas know where. Yeah, Texas Roadhouse ribs. Texas Roadhouse ribs. He's just like, hey, if we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to see a lot more of this. <laughs> and that was repeated the entire night. No one understood what he was saying. <laughs> so my brother said that way too much, and it just kind of stuck in my head. And if you really think about it, you keep doing what we're doing, we'll see a lot more of this. Whatever you're doing and whatever you're getting, you're gonna see a lot more if you keep doing that. I guess. And so. then we just kept on naming off stuff and saying if, like, he's like, hotel rooms, we keep see doing what we're doing. A lot more of this. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of this. <laughs> you see this and corn I got? We'll be seeing a lot more of this. We just made fun of him the entire night about it. Yeah, but now everyone says it. Everyone says it. I mean, yeah. Dude, well, there's, I I I there's, there's so one. many. Uh, there's another one. Eric we're not going to pick you. Yeah, we're not your friends. <laughs> Eric from Wave. <laughs> we're not going to pick you. They're not your friends. That, that one good. gets said a lot to this day just because I I was a trip. It was, that was a trip just because, like, we thought we were doing pretty good. There was a, obviously a hey, lot of good hey, teams there. We were in first for We were in first for one, for one match. match. And then someone told us, what they say? Eric from Wave 20. No, we were talking about, like, hey, maybe we'll get picked. You know, like, we got to be optimistic. And this There's dude just... There's 11 over there. They, they're our friends. They're our friends. You think they're going to pick you? They're not your friends. They're, they're not going to pick, pick you. <laughs> <laughs> we're just sitting there, like, super depressed. And guess yeah, what? We was, didn't end up sad. getting picked. Yeah, he was so right. We they home. weren't our friends. <laughs> they weren't our friends. <laughs> hey, they were our friends for worlds, but not IRI. Dude, it's not it, it was all right. Yeah. It's not good. Dude, I was surprised how friendly those teams at IRI were, though. They like, they were really nice. Like, Symbotics, like eleven fourteen, uh, and then uh, one eighteen. Robo Wranglers. I don't know. I just thought like, 
such good teams, I don't know. I feel like they would think that they would be it's above everyone else. Man. They really weren't. It's robotics for you, man. You know, they, they sat there and talked to us for like oh, hour, an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Just about their robot, about our robot. Actually, we got one of our pitch truckers from, uh, what team was it? 37-60 Strike Force. Strike Force, yeah. We took, yeah, we took inspiration from their, their pit. And they yeah, we're building our new that. pit right now based off theirs, so that should be pretty sweet. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the build team. Shout out to the build team. What Shout else do we got for topics here, Jack? <laughs> okay, okay. Give me a new topic here. Jeez. What, what about Worlds? What you, what'd you think of Worlds? Champs? Dude, Champs. Champs. Champs was whack, dude. Champs was crazy. Well, this what? is all. Well, this is all our first time going to champs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, it was yeah. my first time going to champs. It was your second time, but still, well, it was. No, wasn't it? This is my first, first, first row. That's it's why all we're first doing this okay, podcast because okay. we're all first year people. Yeah. yeah. Homie, my bad. Come on. My Get bad. Your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Hey, sorry, guys. <laughs> but like, dude, just going there, I, it was a totally different environment. Walking like, into Kobo Center. Just walking into Kobo, <laughs> just this huge, open like. How how big do you how big would you say the Kobo Center was when we walked into? I don't know, but it was weird because you saw like you had FLL, FLL Junior, FTC, FRC, and it's just like you walk around and you just this is, this is huge. It's yeah, like, we're we're like, walking around there and like we're, we're we we get to see some of the best teams in like, the world from, in the world just around there. Like, uh, yeah. it was cool because we were on a division with a bunch of other Minnesota teams that we had uh, gone up against uh, previously. Like, shout out 1860, yeah, 1860, 20, 2056, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, our, Our subdivision. Subdivision. It took what fifteen minutes for the results to come out. Oh, dude, that was dude, stressful. I was. That was. My heart was beating. Let's just let's talk about third that. round, last match. Quals quals were going well for us, and then like you know we didn't we didn't know if we were gonna get picked. We thought maybe that was, it was gonna happen. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and then uh, then we get picked. Uh, we have a, a wild stay in our alliance. Yep. Well, team fifty fifty picked us, and mm -hmm. then team one eleven got picked by fifty fifty. So it went 50-50, 1-11, then, then we were next on the pick mm -hmm. for them. And so we got picked, then it went to Gators, which is the number one alliance, and they decided to pick 37-50, came back down to us, and we... they We, we, we took a lot of convincing, we but we convinced them convincing. to get 20-52. And 20-52 is a really good team. And that, was, out of new that was the best decision I think we've had in an alliance selection, really period. Good. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a really good alliance, and it was really good that we had two Minnesota teams that have worked previously, and knew what they were doing, and I mean, Wild saying they've been world champs before. They knew what they were doing. Fifty-fifty. They were. I mean, they've been a team for how long? I don't know how many times they've been to Worlds, mm -hmm. or how long, like how many times they've been to uh, Einstein. But we were, we were so the underdogs too. And I mean, shout out twenty fifty two. Great defensive. Great bond. defensive. Like that. That that was one of the main reasons that I they could hold. stop so many people. Mm -hmm. we, I mean, they they shut down. They beat Gators. us in all of our they regionals. Beat, yeah. But. Yeah, they beat every. Yeah. But like. I feel bad for 1798, the team out of New York, when their pneumatics exploded. Oh, yeah, the pneumatics when they yeah. completely exploded. I really like winning with 2052, but I really don't like losing to them. Yes. Because it happened, it happened too much, I'm not going to lie. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, stuff happens, dude. It's the way it goes. No, the moment, though, that... Uh, so, did we lose the first match of the Lost finals? Lost the first match. Lost the mer first match of the finals. Won the second. Won the second, and then the third, it came down to the third. And, like, everyone was just holding their breath. That was that, that was the round that their pneumatics uh, that was, exploded. It was the last round. It was the last round. And we're just sitting there. Stressful. I think, did we fill a rocket? We got close. We almost, we well, got, no, because we, we had Green Machine on us. It yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a very, it was... Not like a really good match, but it was a decent match for us. For, we, for defense, at least on us, it was decent. Yeah. And then, you know, the 15 minutes, it like it took so long to score because they had to figure out the penalty. Yeah. And then we're just sitting there holding our breath, and I distinctly remember in my mind, just seeing our rocket go up and just screaming, looking over. Was it? I sat next to Adam. Was yeah. it Adam or you? It I, was me and and I just me, hugged Adam, Adam and Eric. I hugged Adam and just started screaming. I, I, there's still a picture of Blake, our driver, to this day, like, jumping up in the air, just, ah, screaming, you know? Okay, and but <laughs> because of that experience, though, like, we weren't on the team before then, so we didn't, like, really didn't know, know anything we didn't different. Know. No. Like, so that was like, oh, we go, to the, we made it to this, but Whoa, yeah. before, like, 
if you were on the team before, it'd be like, this is even crazier. Yeah. yeah. And now this year, I feel like we all have higher expectations because we need to sur want to surpass that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, and then uh, there, there's another inside joke uh, with one of our uh, friends on the team named Trenton, where, where we tell him to obey because he uh, he had a like a obey, brand, obey jacket, an obey jacket, brand. and we kind of made fun of him for it a little bit, but. It, the entire time for like the season, everyone would just bow down to him and say obey. And finally, we, we we'd been trying to get him to obey to us for so long. <laughs> and when we won that last match, no, be, as we were waiting, we told uh, Trenton to, he has to obey to the whole cheering section if for us won. if we get this. And Trenton and Ben get on their knees. And obey, obey. To the, the whole entire, entire crowd. The entire Carson division. Not even the crowd. It's both sides. It's our crowd and the opposite crowd. They get on their knees and obey to everyone. Yeah. And they're just... <laughs> There's a picture of it. Someone took a professional picture of it. And it's pretty sweet. Dude, you remember... Uh, was that... Okay, so Star, was, was Star Wars came out that night? What movie did we go see? There was a movie we saw the night before. That, I think that was in Duluth. Was that, that was, Duluth? Uh, it was that was in Duluth. IRI. Oh, oh, that was IRI. Yeah. yeah, that was IRI that we went and saw a movie. Okay, but can we rewind and go to the first day we were at Detroit? The, okay. The little okay. fiasco that happened. So, me, Dylan, Jack, and Avery, we all left, and we had to sign out this oh. permission form. <laughs> so we had to sign out this permission form, and I sent it to Maine. Maine didn't believe me, but I sent it to her. And I told her, we're going to go to Detroit, downtown Detroit, and we're going to go eat, and then we're going to go ride some scooters. And well, Keep in mind, we're 10, we're 17, to, 10 17 to 15 minutes outside away. of the downtown Detroit, so we're going to just Uber into downtown Detroit because Which Maine said all we got to do is fill out this form if we are going to leave, so we're not going to go walk somewhere. We're going downtown Detroit if we're going yeah, somewhere. We're going downtown, and we're going in the Uber. We got in our Uber. Well, actually, one of our mentors, Eric McCullough, Sitting there, he's like, "Yeah, go That's have fun. Go, go. Yeah, go have fun. Don't get, don't get hurt. Do all this stuff." I'm like, "All right, he's cool with it." I mean, I sent Maine the thing. He sent Eric the thing, and went down, scooted. I think we scooted for like two and a half hours. Yeah, it we scooted. We were out there, there for a while. Time. Dude, that I was think, fun, I think though. we, sp I, th I think I spent a total of like twenty, twenty-five bucks <laughs> just on the lime, lime scooters. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was fun though. It and was then, a good time. I mean, we scooted around everywhere. It, it, and then, it, we knew the city by the end of the time. Oh, yeah. I could still pull up where we scooted. Yeah, I remember 8 Mile perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's not true. We didn't go to 8 Mile. But, like, we, we stayed in the ni like the nicer-ish part of town. It was still kind of sketchy. It was not sketchy. It was it a little sketchy. sketchy. It was just like Minneapolis. It's literally just like Minneapolis. It's you know, fine. Okay, but let's... Okay, so we went there, and after that, we got our Uber back. Tracy, I remember Tracy. Tracy, oh man. Tracy. Bumping rap music. Bumping rap music, and we're all chilling in the car, and I'm sitting there, I'm like bobbing my head, she leans over, and she's like, you want the music turned up, honey? I was like, all right, all right. sure. <laughs> Craig said it's... Was it, was it Outcast? I think... It was Snoop Dogg and Akon, and it was... Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, and all of us were just sitting got, there vibing. She's got subs in her car. She's just, just vibing. <laughs> and we get back to the hotel. Yurik and Maine are about ready to walk out. And she's like, where were you guys? We're like, downtown Detroit? They both looked at us like, you're joking. Like, no, they didn't believe us. They, they literally, didn't believe they us. They literally didn't no, believe us. They didn't believe us at all. Like, you guys went to downtown Detroit. And I can't believe you guys went to downtown Detroit. We're like, yeah, I mean, I filled out the form. She's like, no, you didn't. Check your phone. Check. I mean, I filled out the form. She's like, you checked out the farm, but you're supposed to have a mentor with you. You didn't know you were supposed to have a mentor with us. So, I mean... Yeah, the way it goes, though. It's the way it rode. All right. Yeah. You know, I think we're out of, town, uh, out of time here. So, uh, thank you for watching the second edition of the CIS podcast, sponsored by Darter Plastics and Clear Lake Lions. Uh, we hope to see you in the next episode. Uh, thank you and goodbye. Yeah, one sec. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, okay. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> Jackson is expressing his words. Oh, yeah. <laughs>